Hey everybody, Lee Stranahan. I am at my apartment just a block and a half away from the offices of CrowdStrike. CrowdStrike are the only people to examine the DN servers, the DNC servers while they were employed by the DNC. And the entire Trump-Russia narrative comes out of analysis done by CrowdStrike, who did kick me out of their building a few months ago. But hey, I want to talk about Twin Falls. I'm going to mention Citizen Journalism School again. Also, I just did a periscope on some new ways you'll be able to help out. Hey Tacoma, how you doing? Tacoma, Washington? I have fond memories of Tacoma, Washington. Um, uh, so do me a favor, retweet this. I'm gonna do a quick thing about the, uh, about the knife. So where to begin on this? <clears throat> the, the media and the authorities have been accused by people in the town of Twin Falls of covering up this story from the get-go. Now, the mainstream media, and this goes back to last year, sources like Jezebel, for instance, were trying to call this story fake news back before fake news was a term. Now the New York Times has come out with a story calling this fake news, and Caitlin Dickerson, the reporter who spent hours and hours with me, interviewing me, uh, has pushed this. And one of the things that they've said, and, and I'm, I'm going to do a series of short videos. This is a setup. But I'm about to do a series of short videos today on Saturday that go through some of these details. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play some of the interview I did with the parents of the victim. And I'm going to show you some other details about this so you'll... So you, you're not just hearing me talk about it. But let me talk about the knife. So one of the ways the media has pitched this story is they've said, basically, right-wing crazies like the Drudge Reporter, Alex Jones or whatever, reported that Syrian refugees gang-raped a five-year-old at knife point. Then they say, and the refugees weren't Syrian. Well, that's true. The refugees... Uh, in question were two Sudanese boys and a uh, Iraqi boy. Now, by the way, can anyone tell me what difference that makes? Let's just stop there. I'm going to stop right there for a second. It doesn't really matter. I mean, in other words, I think you should get the story right. I think you should get the story factual, 